guys, Johnny May here and welcome to this week's quick tip where I'm going to teach you what I think is the scariest progression ever. I call it the Halloween progression and it is a super fun progression to play. There's multiple ways that you can play this progression and today I'm going to teach you a super easy way to play it. I call it the creepy rocking style. It's a great little melody. So if you want to scare your friends, this is the progression to learn. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, super excited to teach you this chord progression. It's actually a very, very simple chord progression. There's just two chords in it. And this lesson is for all playing levels. So if you are a complete beginner, you should be able to play this and you're kind of more on the advanced side. I'm going to show you this awesome, creepy rocking style technique. OK, you guys ready to learn this progression? Check it out. OK, uh, here's the progression. That's it, two chords, and they sound super spooky, super scary, they're both minor chords. And we get this little melody on the top that goes down a half step, okay? And so that's really kind of what makes it sound very spooky is this kind of descending melody line. And also having two chords that are both minor chords uh, and they're also separated by a minor interval. So to me, it's like the scariest progression. Um, let me kind of, ex I'll explain more about how these chords work as we go here. But the first chord here is C, G, and C. Right hand is G, C, E flat, and G, okay? So it's like a huge C minor chord, right? And you really want to dig into this chord and uh, that's it, okay? It's a pretty, pretty simple uh, idea here. Okay, the second chord is an E flat minor chord. And that's gonna be there, okay? We've got E flat, B flat, E flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. That's gonna be our ring finger, and then our pinky on the top on the G flat, okay? This is a E flat minor chord, okay? Super fun uh, little progression here, okay? So this is what I want you guys to do is practice the first chord C minor, and then practice jumping up into this E flat minor chord. Now, what makes this chord progression sound so spooky? Well, there's a few things I want you to think about. There's three things that I kind of mentioned earlier. One is they're both minor chords. And anytime you play two minor chords, you know, it's gonna sound very spooky. But this one in particular works very well. C minor to E flat minor. And you know, why does this work so well? Well, the first thing is they're both minor chords. The second thing is that they're separated by a minor third. And if you know a little bit of music theory, a C is a minor third from your E flat, okay? And so we're building our second chord on the E flat. And so because the two chords are separated by a minor third, that also creates a lot of this really cool sound. The third reason that this chord progression sounds so cool is that top note G comes down a half step to the G flat. So you're starting on the fifth of the first chord, that's the fifth, and we walk down to the third of the second chord, okay? And so you get this kind of descending line, right? This kind of dark, you know, getting lower and lower. And so this also helps make this a really spooky sort of progression is this descending line. Now, you can actually extend this chord progression. Before I teach you this rocking style, you could continue this progression down the piano, okay? In fact, this is the topic of our challenge at Piano with Johnny this month for our members. We're doing a challenge where I teach our members how to play this chord progression down the whole piano. And I teach them a variety of approaches, like a very simple approach. Okay, like for beginners, and then I have a more advanced approach, right, for advanced piano players. If you want to check that out, check it out at pianowithjohnny.com. We have it in the membership. It's actually only available to our members at pianowithjohnny.com. But if you dig this chord progression, I think you'll definitely dig the challenge that we have going on this month. Okay, guys, so that is the chord progression. If you are a complete beginner, that's all you need to do is just hit the two chords. Okay? Just like that. C minor to E flat minor. Okay? And that sounds super cool. Now, if you want to do something kind of cool with it, you want to do some rhythm, like a fun rhythm like that, right? Ta 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 ta. That'd be kind of a spooky little rhythm, right? Okay. Another thing that I like to do is kind of this like 
rocking sound where I'll just take the chord and I'll just like rock all the notes like that. I just, I'm sort of just turning my wrists like that. That's a really fun thing to do. Okay, it's all my wrists. I'm just turning my wrists. I'm keeping my, my uh, fingers in the same position. Okay, so if you're kind of a beginner player and you want to do something with it, that's super cool. What I want to teach you in this lesson is what I call the creepy rocking style. And this is like a super fun way to play. It just sounds like super creepy. Let me play it for you guys again. I played it at the beginning of the lesson. Okay, super fun uh, little chord progression. You can play up the octave, you can also play it down the octave. By the way, you guys, this lesson sheet on the top left, this is available for our members at pianowithjohnny.com. They can download uh, the lesson sheet. They can also change the key, so they could actually, just like with one click, they could take this chord progression and put it in any key, and then they can play back the sheet music, they can slow it down, they can loop sections. So a lot of really awesome perks uh, in the Piano With Johnny membership. So check that out. And uh, also you get access to the challenge, which I was mentioning earlier, where you learn this progression in a, a whole variety of keys, and I teach you a whole variety of ways of approaching it. This is actually one of the ways that I teach in the challenge, but creepy rocking style, check it out, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this chord that I just taught you, C, uh, G, C, E flat, and G, and we're gonna break the chord up like this. Okay, so what I'm doing, guys, this is more of an intermediate approach, okay, is I'm taking, uh, Imagine these are all voices, voice one, voice two, voice three, and voice four, and I'm taking voices one and three, and two and four, and I'm just breaking it up like that. You guys see? Okay? That's kind of the basic idea, okay? And then when I get to my E flat chord, this guy, I do the same thing. So I take voices one and three, and then break it up with voices two and four, just like that. Okay? So that's, that's the creepy rocking style. So do the right hand, okay, practice that a bit, then the left hand, that's the basic idea. Now this is in 12-8, meaning there's 12 beats per measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we go to the E flat minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's how we're gonna count that. Left hand, guys, Real simple, okay? We're gonna take the chord and just do a little 12A approach using open fifths, okay? So we're using C, G, and C in the left hand. These are notes from the C minor chord. And we're gonna go bottom, middle, top, middle, top, middle, top, middle, top, middle, top. Okay, it's just a real simple approach to the left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and then we do the same thing on the E flat minor chord. E flat, B flat, E flat. We're gonna go bot, bottom, middle, top, middle, top, middle, top, middle, top, middle, top, middle, okay? Real simple approach, okay? So the whole left hand sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now to E flat. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? Now let's combine the hands, okay? We'll go slow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's all the same. 10, 11, 12. And now the E flat will be here. Let's play it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Basic idea, okay? And you want to speed this up, okay? If you speed it up a little bit, it sounds pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You can take the right hand up the octave. That's super cool, okay? Um, you can also expand the left hand. Let's say you want to do, like, get up to the third of the chord. You can do like that. Go up to the E flat go up to the G flat on the second chord. It kind of opens up the chord a little bit. Okay, has a really, really cool sound, okay? You can also really expand the chord and like come up here like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You can do a pattern like that. Like that, right? I'm just arpeggiating the chord. And that's a super cool approach.
right, guys, this concludes this quick tip lesson. Did you guys enjoy it? If you guys like this lesson, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And if you guys enjoyed this chord progression, check out our challenge at pianowithjohnny.com. This month, in the month of October, we're doing the Halloween progression challenge where you learn this progression, but you learn it all the way down the piano in multiple keys. I teach you a variety of approaches for beginner pianists. I teach you three left hand approaches for intermediate advanced piano players. I teach you three other more advanced left hand approaches. And then I teach all of you guys uh, four different right hand approaches. So beginners learn four different approaches, intermediate advanced pianists learn four more approaches. So it's a super involved challenge. Yeah, you can check that out in the Piano with Johnny membership. Also check out our other courses at Piano with Johnny. We've got over 300 lessons in jazz, blues, boogie woogie, improvisation, theory, uh, technique, fundamentals. We have lessons for all playing levels, beginner, intermediate, and advanced piano players. And of course, our membership at Piano with Johnny, where our members get to interact with me in our live monthly events. We do a live Q&A every month, a live workshop every month. We do those challenges every week, and we have a ton of fun. So check out the Piano with Johnny membership, and thanks, guys, for watching. Thank you.